occurs to me that there are only two Atelier games released in the States that I haven't covered yet, and I don't feel like falling into the time pit that is Atelier Annie again. Thus, we're left with Monokemia 2 Fall of Alchemy, a game which turns the kinda Harry Potter-esque Monokemia on its head. Imagine if Hogwarts suddenly found itself in a budget crisis, I mean, they can't really raise property taxes or anything, and had to start accepting muggles and handing out mundane degrees and things like TV VCR repair or accounting. That's basically what happened to Alrevis Academy in the years before this story, and a new cast of students have arrived to get into wacky misadventures befitting a JRPG. Difference is, now you get a choice of students. That's right, in the manner of Starish in the second story, or Tales of Exilia, you get to choose whose story you wish to follow. As Rays, it's probably not pronounced that way, but Rays is actually an English word, so I'm going with it, and Ulrika each have their own workshops and attract their own groups of absurd characters independent of one another. While playing through one side of the story, you'll occasionally bump into your counterparts, often in the context of a boss battle, while the actual stories and motivations diverge more wildly than in other games with similar mechanics. Yes, that means you'll probably have to play through the game twice to understand everything that's going on, but each playthrough will feel significantly different. Not that you weren't just going to New Game Plus the heck out of it anyway, since that's an Atelier game, that's kind of what you do. This being the last of the PS2 era entries in the series, it represents the last gasp of adorable sprite-based artwork that would get rather unceremoniously binned in favor of the Hyper Moe 3D of Rorona and beyond. I, for one, mourn the loss. From the Iris trilogy through Monokemia, the game centered around tight RPG mechanics, adorable intricate sprite work, and combining the stuff you find into recipe after recipe of alchemical doodads for use in combat. In the manner of its predecessor, character stat development is less dependent on EXP and equipment. Instead, your students power up by spending AP to buy powers unlocked by crafting stuff. It's a unique way to bind the basic premise of the game, kids learning to be alchemists and making things, to the mechanics of an RPG. Summit one. Said RPG feels a little bit toned down from the original Monokemia. There isn't nearly as much playing around with attack speed, and the jump-in attacks by your teammates are a little more vanilla rather than being the tactical toolbox available before. Still, the battle mechanics are one of the best parts of this game, partially because combat tends to turn the soundtrack up from awesome to really freaking awesome. Namenloses Licht, the final battle theme, easily makes my top 5 boss battle BGMs ever list. While the rest of the soundtrack, conveniently provided in CD form along with the game mind, makes me think the reason we didn't get any new Guilty Gear titles for a while was because the real Daisuke Shiwatari was chained up in a basement at Gust, forced to pound out music for these games. Over top of this music, you'll hear a very familiar cast, including Laura Bailey practicing the southern drawl she'd eventually use as Gemini Sunrise, Liam O'Brien as a fluffy Casanova dousing every line in a thick layer of sex, and Vic Mignogna as an enormous fairy. It's not slander, that's fact. I'm still waiting for my new body. I can't show myself to the ladies like this. Ugh! You are so high maintenance when it comes to girls. We're talking about the second Monokemia game, the ninth overall Atelier title, and about as insular a JRPG as you can get without doubling back on yourself. A large chunk of the action isn't even menu manipulation in battle sequences. It's menu manipulation in your own workshop, trying to alter an ingredient or two in the hopes that your teammates might think it's a good start and chime in with an idea for a previously hidden recipe. Obviously, it's not for everyone. This is more of an AP course than a primer, a capstone project for your PS2 RPG collection. Or, hell, you can just buy it for the soundtrack, and no one will ever judge you. I certainly won't. Okay, maybe a little judging, a minor judgment. Two episodes of Night Court. What? I'm playing with Uri right now, so don't bother me. Stop playing with that thing and play with me. No, you're annoying. Go away. Whoa, that's colder than I expected. <laughs> 